Hello and welcome to today's reflection from Holy Trinity here in Formby. Today's reading is taken from Acts chapter 4 verses 1 to 12. Peter and John before the Sahedrin. The priests and the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John while they were speaking. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people, proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They seized Peter and John, and because it was evening, they put them in jail until the next day. But many who heard the message believed, so the number of men who believed grew to about 5,000. The next day, the rulers, the elders and the teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. Aeneas, the high priest, was there, and so were Cephas, John, Alexander and others of the high priest's family. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked how it was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Following the healing of the lame man, the priests and other leaders came to confront Peter and John. They are very disturbed that they are preaching the resurrection of the dead through Jesus. They arrest them and they put them in jail overnight. The council convenes the following morning and demands that Peter and John explain by what power they had done this deed. Peter is filled with the Holy Spirit and boldly declares that the man was healed by the powerful name of Jesus Christ, who was crucified and who God raised from the dead. Peter concludes, there is salvation in no one else. Jesus is the one, the cornerstone which holds everything together. When reading today's passage, a few things come to mind. Firstly, we are again reminded of the gift from God of the Holy Spirit. Peter is filled with the Holy Spirit that gives him strength and courage to speak out and to stand up to the leaders and priests. But the Holy Spirit is not just a gift for the disciples though, it is a gift for all, for everyone. A gift to help us every day when things are going well, or when things are not going as well as they could, when we're upset, afraid or lonely. Just like Peter, it gives us strength and courage when we need it. The passage also reminds us that Jesus is the one, the cornerstone, the Son of God. People can look for salvation, healing, guidance, support, wholeness and fulfilment in all sorts of places. But as Peter 
boldly declared in this passage, there is salvation only in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus is powerful. We are saved in his name. We are healed in his name. Satan flees before his name. We will be provided with what we need when faced with hostility, upset, worry or even persecution like Peter and his friends. There is no other name, no other way to be saved but the name of Jesus. Why would you want any other way? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your name is the highest of names. We thank you for being with us every day, through the tough times as well as the good times. We thank you for your watchful eye and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Please remind me to call constantly on you in every circumstance. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for this reflection. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again really soon. Have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.